So no videos for a few days on RC Model Reviews. Why is that? Well because I've been busy in the lab here in the workshop, or actually in my home office, building this and this sort of prototyping this. This is the multi-channel diversity receiver for the FPV series. And what I've done is I've designed the circuit here. As you can see, it's got lots of wires and bits and pieces and doodads. It's actually got a couple of receivers in this one as well. And after designing that, I then had to etch a circuit board and make this. So here is the resulting four-channel diversity controller. And the schematics and the layout will go up on the, board, on the website pretty shortly for that. Um, and it'll actually switch between any one of four antennas. Uh, based on, or four receivers based on the which one has the most signal at any given time. That means you can have your omnidirectional and your patch and your helical or whatever you want. And as you can see, I'll get a bit close up here. I've made this particular board just very easy for anyone to put together and build. You can either do the toner transfer and it yourself, or you can get the board done at a. If there's enough interest, I'll see one of the board fab houses and see if they'll make up some boards and you can buy them directly from them with solder mask and everything. But it's a good place for people to get started if you've never built a circuit board that uses surface mount components because I've used just a few surface mount components just to make it interesting. So little LEDs here are surface mount but I've got through hole um, ICs and resistors there and there's a um, few other little surface mount bits and pieces, um, some resistors down there and the LEDs. So it'll give you, and the big surface mounts, so not the tiny tiny little ones, so it'll give you a chance to actually get started and have a play with surface mount componentry. So that's basically it. And for those of you who understand such things, we have a PIC controller here and we have a uh, quad CMOS gate there. So the PIC controller just looks at the RSSI or the signal strength inputs and based on which one is higher, switches the relevant video input through to this video output connection there. Simple piece of cake. This is a big voltage regulator because they're cheap and I have plenty of them. And then of course here's my little 12 volt supply. If I turn it on, it'll do a little diagnostic, hopefully. It should flash its little lights. Got this blue LED, really bright, far brighter than I expected. So you can see it's not just switching between the four inputs, it just cycles around and does that during the testing phase. And since I've got nothing connected, um, once it's finished that, it'll probably just flicker a couple of lights because there are no actual signal inputs. And so it won't know where to go. There you go, it's got those flickering between those two very quickly because uh, those two inputs are um, the two defaults. I'll turn it off. So there you go, that's coming up really soon, and of course the FPV backpack is also coming up really soon, but what I've done with that is I've made another little change, because it can now be far more streamlined, and I want to make also a little fiberglass mould for a little, sort of, um, what do you call it, a shroud that will go around it, so it'll be a really streamlined little thing you can throw on the top of your model without adding any extra significant weight or drag. So that's it, that's what I've been up to, and there's lots more videos coming, the weather's raining outside at the moment, so you may have to wait a little for those outdoor videos, but stay tuned, I'm working very hard here behind the scenes.